I've been here twice since the Away Days tour, but um, usually trips to London is only like two days tops, I guess, for whatever reason. So this is cool because we have almost a whole week. It's been great. These, I mean, these trips are really mellow. We did New York and then Shanghai. It's the same thing, it's a week long trip. There's one demo, there's like two other events, whether it's an art show or in Shanghai they had a, a party for Lucas's collab with Hellas. So stuff like that. So it's like skating, a demo, which is like super mellow demo. It's just a couple boxes, a fun whatever, you know, and skate for an hour and then, uh, yeah, cool events. Yeah, I've been on for 10 years now, when I think about it, and uh, one of those things, I knew the guy, you know, I was in, connected in this area, and a friend of mine worked at Adidas testing the shoes, so before they even started the skate program, he would just give me shoes, and then whatever, yeah, just kind of went from there. Yeah, so, yeah, I got to get with him in the beginning. Yeah, me and Benny got put on at the same time, ben, Benny Fairfax, so it's been a while, yeah. So, where I grew up is a small town, more in the hills, so a little more trees and stuff. And then, yeah, it's connected to San Jose, which is where all the Tilt Mode dudes were. And the town I lived in had the Shop NC, which made the first Tilt Mode video, it was actually a shop video. Yeah, I mean, I'd be a kid and I'd go in there and you'd see Mark Johnson gripping his board and Matt Eversall was working there before he did Enjoy and stuff like that, so it's all... Like I said, it came, I, I got lucky to grow up in a connected area, you know? Yeah, Jerry, Sue, Louis Barletta, I've seen them since I was like, I went skating with them when I was 12 or something for the first time. They picked me up and I was like, I don't know, start, yeah, shocked. Yeah, it, it was natural, for sure. That, especially Man Down, like, like I said, the first one was kind of through the shop, so shop video. And then Man Down was just like, that was the crew. It's probably before crew videos really blew up as a thing. They just made a rad video of what they thought was funny and what the crew's into. And you know what I mean? It was natural and that's why it was so good, I think. I was younger, so I wasn't involved with that, but yeah, they definitely had a good time. And Bonus Round was a few years later, so things had changed a bit. I would say out of all of those, Man Down was like the real vibe. But it, it went through a mall too, you know, the same style. But. Uh, yeah, that was, they were just skating, you know. Yeah, it came about a bit weird. I think when I was really young, I was skating for Santa Cruz skateboards. And yeah, Eversol was running in joy and he kind of like approached me a little bit, but I was a little young and scared. And then whatever, just kept skating with those guys. And then I wanted to make a change and I quit Santa Cruz and they just were like, yeah, we'll give you boards, here you go. And then uh, kind of had to work for it a little longer at that point, you know, and yeah, got on. Whatever, those, yeah, those are the guys I know. It's like anything, things change, you know, and it sucks to deal with that. I feel like we've bounced back and been able to go through all of it. And yeah, I mean, it's Louie. I've known him forever, so I, I'm stoked he's still doing it. I took charge of it, you know? He didn't really want to at the time. He was kind of thrown into this whole new role of like, fuck, I gotta keep this thing together, so. I mean, as it's, from what it started and to what it is now, like we've always wanted to have people that we got, that we'd like to hang out with, you know? Like it grew out of tilt mode in a way and grew out of like wanting to, but it's a brand, so it's like we gotta get skaters, but who are our homies we can hang out with, you know? Not just a bunch of random dudes on a trip, like, looking at their phones, which happens anyway, but uh, yeah. So Raymers, I think Raymers fucking love Raymers. So he's, I think he's been the best fit we've ever found. And yeah, he's perfect for Enjoy. So yeah, things like that. We got Raymers thine in now, it's amazing. Funny, yeah, so yeah, I think it's evolving. And yeah, it's still good. I mean, we're all from that era too, and even before. And we would prefer to make full videos and film video parts, because I mean, I think that's way more worthwhile. And that's kind of what we have to offer, other than backflipping off of Makba on Instagram. But uh, it is hard to make a full video now with the amount of time you have to put into it. To make a good video, 
I, it's going to take a year or two, and I don't know, you have to also be putting out stuff constantly nowadays. So, but yeah, we, we want to do something. We're going to try to make kind of clips, maybe more like Tweak the Beef. Not a full video, but it'll still be like, whatever, a promo thing that, that I think gives off our vibe or whatever. But we have a few things coming out uh, this year, I think, more promo style. I think something soon, actually. I'm not sure. I've known Patrick for a long time, so he's a good friend of mine. And uh, yeah, I'm personally interested in a lot of like, I don't know, exploring different cultures, especially in skating. It's my favorite part about skating is the traveling we get to do. And uh, which is awesome. It's great to come to European cities with good spots or, you know, revisit places. But I really like what Patrick's doing of exploring like these corners, forgotten corners of the world. So, but yeah, it's all the same. It's just, a, I mean, Oh, it's different because it's different groups of friends, but still, it's traveling with your friends and skateboarding. And uh, yeah, we just, we're sneaking a little extra, you know, whatever, cultural experience on the side. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to skate. Um, there, like say, for instance, Kazakhstan and other trips, like I've been to India with Patrick as well. It's, yeah, you have to skate, but I mean, if you find something that's skatable, it's awesome. Instead of like, you go to Barcelona to skate what they have. We go there and we find something to skate. So it's all skating, but yeah, different from ways about going about it, I guess. Uh, fuck, man, that was awesome. Uh, Matt Irving, the uh, kind of like, I guess the director we always had with Adidas, who came up with, who comes up with all the concepts for all our videos, it's fully his idea. So he approached me about it and uh, we kind of just like, kept making it up as, as we went, you know? So he's like, yeah, let's just make a cheesy looking 70s documentary of Stan, like young Stan Smith, you know? It, it was one of those things, like we had the concept and we just like did it on a day-to-day -day basis, like no script or anything, you know what I mean? So that was something I definitely could show my family, like you don't understand my video part or whatever, but this is, yeah, okay, here's my job, this is cool. Rest of the year, um, I don't know, I don't have that kind of foresight right now, but uh, yeah, after London, we're gonna go to Paris for a week, and then Berlin, with the same Adidas skate Copa trips in each city. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe I might try to stay in Europe a little longer and just do my own thing. But besides that, just normal skating, try to film for whatever this enjoy thing we're making is. We'll see, yeah.